Good morning and welcome to another episode of Vlogmas-ish. In a recent video, I mentioned that I did have some office faves. So I thought today we'll do a little office tour to kick off the vlog. And um, I'll show you some of the things that I added to my office this year. Or even just some things that like I started using. Maybe they're not new to me. Um, these are my blue light glasses. <laughs> which I would love to vlog in because I think they look great, but I would have to vlog like this because or else it's just glare. So we'll just take them off. But I was just working at my computer. I edited a vlog, which will have already gone up. Hopefully you've already watched it. Anyway, we'll do a little office tour and I'll talk you through some things that brought me joy this year. Here's what it looks like when you walk in. I know it's a lot of cords, okay? This is a lived in, worked in office. Not everything can be aesthetically pleasing, okay? <laughs> this give you a little swooping pan. All I can see is cords. What are you gonna do, what are you gonna do? All right, here we go, here we go. There's the giant behemoth of a desk. And then this wall just has some stuff. You always see Adele, Beyonce, Oprah, and then some shelves up here. So what is new this year? Well, let's just start with the desk. This standing desk I bought last year. So you can tell I was editing and then this is the thumbnail of the video. But um, I love it. So I am probably 5'9 and it's tall enough for me. I find it really helps. I go between sitting and standing and I'll show you how it's just like a hydraulic that moves up and down. But the standing desk, has definitely helped my soreness and how much I stand and how much I sit, how comfortable I am, helps with long classes. Um, and then we've talked about this already, but this treadmill goes underneath it and then I can tippity type and walk at the same time. Let me just um, figure out where to put you and I'll show you how easy it is for me to raise this up and down okay so it just has a lever here and then watch it just goes down move that out of the way and then just goes up like this quite high so and then tippy tight and i love it I'll, if I can find the link for it, I'll link it down below. Something else that I started doing this year, which I hadn't done before, is really using both screens. So I initially bought this monitor when I went back to school because the screen of my MacBook just didn't seem like it was going to cut it for Zoom and how much I knew I was going to be sitting at my desk. And... What I used to do was close the laptop and just use this screen, but now I use both and to be able to drag or say have the internet open here and my iMovie open here or have Zoom open and then have another screen. I know this is very specific, but using them together has been a real game changer. It's just helped my workflow and I have loved it. I showed this in a previous favorites, this keyboard that I bought because it does this. Ready to listen for it? Oh, now it's just gonna, hold on, let me turn off the speaker. It's like clicky, which is nice. I like it. I know it seems a bit ridiculous right now that we have three keyboards out, <laughs> but this is what my honest workspace looks like. I'm not gonna just aesthetically please it for you. I'm happy that I took the time yesterday to actually like clean it. That was just for my own mental health. Um, what else can I show you? Yes, I succumbed to the hype and I do really like it. I do. I will say that. She is a beaut. The gumballs, also a great addition this year. This Nespresso, the unicorn bought for me last year and I do use it quite a bit. What else can I show you? Even for like um, a decaf is nice or a tea in the afternoon. This stand that my laptop is sitting on, again, I'll try and find it for you if you're interested, but it helps again, the neck, the shoulders, and I find it's a much better angle for zoom because this is the camera, right? So I'm sitting or standing 
Um, and I think it helps the airflow too <laughs> with my very loud laptop right now. But it's light, it's easy. Um, anywho, that was another addition. Okay, swinging over here. I believe I've shown this before, but this little fridge, this little cheapo fridge, could use a restock, honestly, but it basically, yeah, actually, I do need to restock it before the next semester. <laughs> Tons of beverages. That's pretty much what I keep in here. Non-caffeinated sodas and some waters and... There also used to be a little champagne, but we may or may not have drank that recently. <laughs> Did I mean to put it on cinematic? No, we're just gonna leave it for now. This, these boxes are Christmas presents. That's why, unmentionables. There's absolutely nothing in that closet that is worth opening it and you seeing it. But those were just some things that really brought me joy this year. The treadmill, the standing desk, and using the two screens. I know they're super niche, but if you work from home or if you have any ability to dictate what your workspace is like at work, it can't hurt to ask or add if you can. And yeah, it's it's really helped me this year. I will say that and brought me joy. I mean, I spend so much time in this room. <laughs> it's nice to have it feel good. So, uh, you know, Usually I'll have the curtains open. It's nice to have that natural light in here. Oh, another thing that I didn't show you that's in the corner is I have a space heater because from about October till March, that's necessary. And then we switch and I have a little fan because then it gets hot in here. It's either freezing or hot. I could, you know, fix the cords and make it look more aesthetically pleasing, but let's just normalize spaces that are being used usable spaces that are like normal. It's normal to have cords, it's totally fine. <laughs> to have garbages that are full that, you know, could I have emptied them before I showed you? Yes, did I? Absolutely not. Um, another thing, this is a real niche thing, but I have this contraption that will hold a textbook for me. I'll grab it for you. <laughs> now, some of you may be, I don't know, maybe, more tech savvy is the word or like to use tech. I th I'd say I'm kind of savvy. Um, and say use like digital note taking, which I would love to. I still just use my cheap Hillroy. This is what I take notes in, these. At one time they were on sale for I think 10 cents a piece. I bought about a hundred of them. <laughs> Not a hundred, but I bought a lot. Um, and then I get like, you know, binders that are, Oh, that one has a price tag on it, $1.77. It's just me. So I also still get physical textbooks. It's pricier. You can sometimes just like rent a textbook, which I like, but I like to take notes. I like to highlight. I like to write in it. I like to go back and reference it. And because this is the job that I'm going into, in theory, hopefully I will go back and actually use them. Anyway, I got this, <laughs> which has um you know this stand on it and you could use it for like cookbooks whatever you want these move and then it holds the um textbook so I can read it and take my notes what I found was because, <laughs> because I was sitting at my desk so much and doing this I was getting a really sore neck so now I can prop this up in front of me look at the textbook and then be taking my notes pretty much since about four to six months in of me going back to school everything I have bought or done or taken care of has just been to feel physically better <laughs> from physio <laughs> to you know I have the the um anatomical no ergonomic like this is where the mouse goes this is where my elbow goes this is what my chair does like to just feel good physically so this has been really nice and it just folds up nice and flat I'll try and find this this was on Amazon I'll try and find it for you 
if that interests you. Um, yeah, if there's anything else in my office that you see that you want to link to, just comment and I'll I'll reply with the link if I can find it. Someone a few vlogs back asked for that shelving unit that I showed in the bathroom. So I uh, messaged that person. Like you can see it in the comments, I replied with the link. Um, anyway, yeah, that's basically what it's like to be almost 40 and going back to school. Everything just needs to not hurt your back <laughs> or your arm or, you know, your elbow or whatever. That's where we're at with it. And you know what? It's fine. It's totally fine. So that was a little uh, kickoff to today's vlog showing you the office. I'm going to make some lunch, I think. Get this video up and scheduled. And then, yeah, we can hang out this afternoon. Thomas is going for a haircut. Maybe I'll try and remember to show you that. I think I might try and convince. Not convince. This would take zero convincing. But like. So just a little celebratory, maybe pizza for dinner tonight. Thomas has done school for the year. And what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, we finished the second season of White Lotus. We watched the whole thing in like three days. I would say season two, far superior to season one, in my opinion, I'd love to know what you thought. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get the theme song out of my head, nor do I want to. I did a, a class yesterday, a cardio class. And she played the theme song. Oh, it's so great. Oh, it's so great. It's a weird one. It's weird. It was weird. It was a weird show. We watched a lot of weird shows. After we finished it last night, I was like, we need something just like light and easy. So maybe a little Abbott Elementary. We're also thinking of trying Hacks. Because I love Jane Smart. That's where we're at. What shows to watch. <laughs> anyway. What do you think of this, like, this background? Also the fuzziest, cutest... Just had a little bit of lunch of leftovers and we were discussing what show we're going to start next. I know I said hacks, but I think we're going to try Wednesday. Have you tried it? Have you seen it? And then I thought, as we were talking about shows, I'm trying to think about what we watched this year and realized I should have made a note. Like I do the books. I like keep a folder in my phone every time I read a book, which fun fact, I'm at 49 this year, which I'm very proud of considering... I'm in school. The unicorn will make fun of me because I listen to them and I listen to them at like 1.5 or 1.75 speed, but that just works for me. Um. Anyway, so next year I will try to remember to just keep a list of shows, but to my recollection, this is what we watched this year. And then I'll tell you, well, not just what we watched, but I guess like what we enjoyed. I think The Flight Attendant season two was this year and that show gets a thumbs up from both of us, although that led to a pretty strong addiction to hot tamales, the candy, to the point where we could no longer find it in town and the unicorn went to the States and found us some. <laughs> and now we ration them because um, we can't get them locally. We watched all of Ozark this year. Yes. Like all, whatever, five, seven hundred seasons. It's really good. Would you recommend it? It's one of those ones where you're like, well, we watched the whole thing. Would I recommend it? It depends what you like. I'm just going to say what we liked and then you can like research them yourself. We liked it, right? Yeah, I did. I, there's like any show on those seasons you can be disappointed at certain, certain aspects or side, you know, yeah. the story. But overall, yes. Your phone locks so quickly. I have to use his phone because I'm on mine. So I... Anyway, uh, Big Bang. Not new, obviously. We'll put it on. It's like a comfort, cozy show. Oh, yeah, it's it's a good one. And I even bought seasons 11 and 12 this year because uh, Crave only has seasons 1 through 10. So I bought them on Apple TV. Other shows that I liked on Apple TV this year were Loot. Um, that one's super good. And oh my god, your phone. I swear it locks in about 10 seconds. It does. This is going to be so much editing. Good thing I know your password. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that one of the my favorites, if not the favorite for me this year, was Young Sheldon. Yes. We watched all six seasons on Netflix, five seasons on Netflix. It's so good. Again, because we love Big Bang, but just in and of itself, it's such a wholesome, nostalgic show because it's set in the 
late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I really liked Uncoupled on Netflix. I'm hoping that they'll make another season of it. It stars Neil Patrick Harris, and uh, it was just so fantastic. I think it's only 10 episodes, um, but that was great. And, oh, also on Netflix, Inventing Anna, I enjoyed. She's such a phenomenal actress, Julie, Julie Garner, Julia Garner. She's in Ozark and she's in Inventing Anna. She's a little chameleon. I can't wait to see what she does next. Apparently I've heard that she's gonna play Madonna next. Uh, and then another one that we loved this year was Righteous Gemstones. That one's on Crave. And is there two or three seasons of it? I can't remember. Two. It's weird, just like White Lotus, just like Ozark just like flight attendant. There's some weird stuff right now. Um, but yeah. But the I, acting's entertaining. Good actors. So good. So good. It's so funny. It's got um, John Goodman in it. And um, the plot is hilarious. It's so ridiculously funny. So those were our favorite shows. I could only remember two documentaries that I watched this year. I know there were many more. But two that come to mind, because I only watched them recently, were the Lizzo documentary and the J-Lo halftime documentary. Both are fantastic. Pink. Oh, yeah. And we watched the pink one, which was great. Um, my arm is getting so tired. <laughs> just holding my phone. Oh, I swear I lift weights. And then I just have a list of the podcasts that I was very loyal to this year. Hypochondriactor is fantastic. Um, it's Dr. Priyanka Wally and Sean Hayes. So she's a doctor and a stand-up comedian and he, Sean Hayes, played Jack on Will and Grace. And um, they talk about all things medical and then have a guest come on and talk about medical stuff. And I've learned a lot. It's been really interesting. Smartless, which is hilarious, Armchair Expert, and as well, Chelsea Handler's podcast and Hello Ross. Um, Mel Robbins launched a podcast this year, which I've listened to intermittently, but I find it's like two or three episodes a week, which is just too much to keep up on. And sometimes I need something lighter, which is when like Armchair Expert or Hello Ross um, really come in nicely, just something a little bit lighter. Anyway, those were the podcast TV shows. I can't remember any movies. We hardly watch any movies, honestly. I watched, oh, actually, I do remember, uh, all of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. Finally. That's a tick. Watched, I Yeah, bought those. Watched them. They were great. Great. Fiance. Check. <laughs> <laughs> not her fave. You should also explain that you watch them not on one sitting, so you watch them over a period of a couple weeks. Yeah. Which loses... Because the, they're like four hours long. Yeah, that loses the... And like Thomas doesn't go to bed till 8, 30, 9 o'clock. I'm not watching a four hour movie in one go. Like it's, it's just not happening. So... Yeah. Plus they're pretty violent. I needed to take a break. This is not my... It's just not my kind of thing. It's just a lot of violence. It's just... As you can tell, I like lighter shows. Even some of the ones that we watched this year that were faves were weird, but good. And then, as always, watched a lot of Friends, and I rewatched all of Will and Grace and probably all of Frasier because <sighs> sometimes you just need some comfort shows. Can you watch all of Frasier again? Probably. Yeah. It's a long year. <laughs> all right, what were your favorite shows this year? We always are looking for show recommendations. We're going to start Wednesday. Maybe watch the first episode we pick before we pick up Thomas from school. Yeah, tell me your podcasts. Tell me your TV shows, documentaries, movies. And I'll have to save books for another episode because this is already another episode. Another vlog because this is already going to be a long one. But you know me. Are back. Thomas got a haircut. I completely forgot to vlog it. I can show you it though. Having a little celebratory glass of wine. We just cheers to um, another semester of straight A's. Yes, we did. You want to cheers again? Straight A's. Six months to go. 
look how handsome. Look at these clean lines. Sharp, sharp haircut, huh, bud? Hello? Hi. Hello. You're so handsome. <laughs> yeah. More. More. What? Whoa. More. More, Mom? <laughs> it is uh, a quarter to six, and Alexa, turn off second light. Honestly, I am in sweatpants, well, all day in sweatpants, ready to tuck into something. We didn't end up starting that show that we were talking about earlier, so we might. I'm currently catching up on some vlogmas on my phone, and gonna have just a really chill, chill, chill evening. Uh, we are now into winter break, so Thomas is home for two weeks. Very excited. We are going away for a while, um, so I'll break it up, which is really nice. But I'm going to say goodnight because I waffled on in my office and then about shows and podcasts, and I feel like you've uh, you had a healthy dose of me today. He was very good in his haircut, didn't need any kind of like distraction. He just sat there quietly. And I take his hearing aids out and his cochlear implant out. So um, it's always like a question of if he'll need anything. He didn't. He even advocated for himself and asked for the big brush and got her to like brush the hair off his neck. So I was just so proud of him. He just leaps and bounds, this kid. And now we're going to have a nice a Christmas break. This isn't the end of Vlogmas Ish, I don't think. No, I'm going to vlog tomorrow because I'm taking my mom to something very festive and fun and I thought it would be exciting to bring you along. So with that, I'll say good night and I will see you in the next uh, vlog for Vlogmas-ish. Thanks again for watching. Let me know what your favorite shows, documentaries, movies, podcasts were. I would love to know. Oh, I still have to tell you my books of this year, so I will definitely do that before this year is out. Um, okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.